Boom. <clears throat> Welcome to the Two Posh Podcast. I am Gabrielle. I am a former New York Mafia princess, originally from Austria. I am the mother of three and the owner of Two Posh Boutique. And here with my beautiful co host, Marcella, my daughter. Hello, I'm Marcella. I'm a dancer, choreographer, model, and designer for Two Posh. And I say whatever the I want. Hi, my name is Cruz. I am a stylist. I also own the Society Salon in the Design District. And I am a short little Mexican with a big personality. <laughs> I am Polly. I am a certified sexual health consultant and educator, former professional dominatrix, currently working at the largest adult novelty store in the Texas Panhandle. What will they say next? Welcome to the Two Posh Podcast. <laughs> All right, welcome to our guests. Deborah, Deb, yes. tell me, do you say your last name? I'm going to mess Marukin. it up. Marukin. Marukin. Oh, wow. Marukin. <laughs> and Sad. Manny Fresco. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm, we're so Not happy Manny. to have you here. <laughs> and we can't wait to get into the show and learn all about you guys, but I yes. want to say hi to our spider. Spider Man. What up? A Spider Man. <laughs> Choking and on pina colada. <laughs> we have good <laughs> drinks today. We have I'm drinks. already buzzing. <laughs> we just started. I'm already buzzing. <laughs> this is gonna develop good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I need to start this show out with a very exciting thing that happened to us this last weekend. And dun, we need dun, to dun. tell our listeners about it. Uh, we found out that our podcast is in the top 2% Woo. of all the world's podcasts. Whoa. Wow. 7 yeah. million plus podcasts. I had no idea about that. <laughs> wow. And I just I just want to say when we found that out, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't think that's that good. And everyone yeah. was like, oh my gosh, like it's good. I was like, I thought you needed to be like 100%. But yeah. that would be bad. Oh, you yeah, were going yeah, backwards. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no, like seven. Yeah. 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 Number seven. Yeah, we're we're, like, we're oh. going for the top one. Yeah. 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 We two. are actually zero point zero five is where we need to get to because oh. that's like Joe Rogan top. status. Yeah, that's yeah. Joe <laughs> status. It's almost but like getting kicked off Spotify status. Yeah. 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 Almost. Almost. Still getting paid. Almost. Oh, spider. Get paid double. Yeah, literally. It literally says what is the global rank this podcast is one of the top two percent most popular Ooh. shows out of two million seven hundred seventy seven thousand six hundred fifty four podcasts globally ranked by listen square the estimated popularity now i will say <laughs> most of those two point whatever million aren't aren't going anywhere <laughs> <laughs> i believe it because it's like 100 spider, enough yeah, yeah. Like, then, who are it's you? hard and there's also when you were saying seven million because that's it's a lot closer to seven million now because there's just oh. as many independent podcasts that aren't on platforms as there are on apple spotify all that stuff now Oh, oh wow. wow. So is this all of them or just the ones that are on platform? That's just the ones on platform. Oh, wow. so this is way better. Well, yeah. 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 Wow. Like, well, Spider, I like your knowledge of the and Mr. It's statistics my job. in the back. <laughs> I know. That's amazing. Yeah, so we were uh, we were at the uh red carpet event for the first uh movie screening for Was I Next, which is uh oh. first, I mean that escaped and most notorious serial killer in, in Canada. Canada. Oh, I love serial and killers. <clears throat> we had yeah. them on our show about a year, year what? and a half ago. And then they came to town to visit us. We, we connected over Zoom. It was just the craziest wow. thing. And it was an amazing premiere. The uh, Deandra Simmons from the Dallas Housewives yeah. was the host and her husband. He has the last letter, last letter podcast, which. Oh, okay. It, is very very cool and like he's like i like the name yeah it's very really neat intriguing last letter um so he's gonna come on our show eventually but he was the one that said when i knew you guys were coming i checked you guys out and oh yeah he told he's us like you guys <laughs> we had no idea we had no idea Lost. so we we're like what this is so exciting so how was the movie it was, I, it's great it's a documentary oh, because it's real life, life and then yeah. they did a question and answer it was so cool which very- by the way last night if you are if you like netflix and you like the murder stuff so to catch a killer or the catch a oh, killer yes that is such a good okay series. so the newest one with i was i'm not 
I'm not even going to say what I was doing. I was taking the Christmas <laughs> tree down. Well, what, were you, what were you doing? Come on. Come on. What were you doing? I was taking You're my Christmas tree down. taking a tree down. <laughs> but I was taking it down. I thought I, she was going to say something like naughty. No. She's like, I, I don't, too, she's like right? the Christmas tree. I'm well, like, I don't even want to say what I'm doing. I'm so right? embarrassing. We're like thinking all naughty. She's like, I'm taking down my tree. No, I would tell tree. you that, actually. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's February 19th. Yeah, it's really bad. So, um, But while I was taking it down, I just had it on in the background, and I heard these names, and I was thinking, why have I heard these names before? And on to catch a killer is the serial killer who Bruce MacArthur Bruce MacArthur in Canada it was oh. his story it was two parts what and we had the survivor on and wow. I was like oh Whoa. my gosh this is so, so just here wait that's that so a, insane yeah. imagine insane. surviving that that's like traumatic and this traumatic. guy was a, a a um cannibal and he would no. eat them and he was on there's cannibal like websites and people will what? sell themselves to these guys to get eaten it's really weird it's like crazy. like where it hurts or like no they the kill good, them to like kick the them no to kill them and eat them like what? they would sell themselves yes, yeah cause, like the black mark yes because they, like they would sell themselves yeah they said they felt like that was their the master calling. it was their, sh- uh, their sh- oh, they so called so. them it, chefs it was like a cult yes. kind of. chefs and master chefs and if you're a master Whoa. chef you know how to um kill and prepare your meat what the and then the fuck? chef, you can cook it. You know how to cook it, y'all. Do, wait, crazy. so he cooks oh, it before? It's crazy. on Netflix. Okay, yes. I got it. Oh, yes, yeah. you have to watch yeah. it. It's so crazy. What is it about crazy serial killer shit that just like hot chicks love? I don't <laughs> fucking so know. Crazy. Is it? so it's crazy. just what like, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys like as men? Do y'all not watch it? Uh, really? I'm like watching it like with my. Hands like hands, eyes, uh, like shit, like peeking you know? through, yes. and the girls are like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally into it. Like, they're like, I need yeah, to go to baby. Sleep. I need to go to sleep with something on that you know I can relax as me. <laughs> yeah, I have like, <laughs> I'm like more. I like to watch them so uh, get tips of what not to do when I'm going killing people. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Gives you a lesson. Yeah. But anyways, that's that little side story. It's pretty yeah, nice. that's, that's what crazy. happened, and that's how we found this out. So we had to just <laughs> catch everyone up when we were doing. It was really really cool. And I just want to tell everyone thank you for listening to us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell. Subscribe to all our social media platforms. We're on all of them. Our TikTok has done so well lately, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you guys um, do the dances or what? No, no. I just do <laughs> <laughs> You guys are I'm gonna like, be on them. Uh, okay, I'm like, I'm like, it's a little dance. Going on. I'm like, I brought on my party pants. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Marcel is supposed to no do pants something. pants party. For us yeah. too, right? <laughs> so we're oh just so grateful for everyone and thank you so much. And now let's get into. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> Deb and Manny, we want to know more about you guys. Please welcome to the show. Yes, welcome. Tell us. Thank What's you going first. on? Yeah. Thank I'm, you for having us. I'm again. so excited to have you guys here. I've known Deb for a really long time and, um, you know, just super glad to have you here, Manny. Tell us what's up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know where to start, right? So um, much stuff. Yeah, well, I, I guess uh, we can start from the beginning. Yeah. A long, Come long on. time ago. <laughs> um, you know, my family and I moved here to America from the Philippines, raised in Southwest Florida, did the military for 12 years, got out, started a production company, started doing commercials and marketing content. And that was in 2015. And then... um. And then as of January last year is when I dove in full NFT mode. And that's when we started. That's a term, not like yeah. full. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, for those that don't know, what is an NFT? Yeah, I'm lost. NFT is... So lost. I mean, lost beyond lost. I hear it every single yeah. second, and it's like... Crazy. So a lot of people think NFT is like a JPEG or whatever, but um, it really is any digital asset that you can think of from photography, work, music videos, videos in general, uh, membership. It could be a gym membership, um, anything in the digital asset realm that can be bought with crypto. And I try to tell a lot of businesses, like, you need to start incorporating this because at the end, um, we're gonna come to a point where the crypto uh, currency is gonna be used more than the U.S. dollar or whatever uh, tangible dollar. So to count out crypto out of your business is just too 
limit your business that much smaller. So just to put this into perspective, right? Like um, there's over a hundred thousand millionaires just from crypto. And if Bitcoin or when Bitcoin gets to 200,000 for one Bitcoin, more than half the world's billionaires will be from crypto. And you know, why limit your business to just us dollar when you could just accept any kind of currency and I, like, I try to tell like some of the clubs, like, why don't you just accept crypto? There's these kids swimming in crypto that want to flex and buy bottles, and now they can't because you don't want to accept it. And you know, there's a there's a the the the, the discussion of, well, we, what if it dips? So now you can, now you have another business move where you put a, a ATM machine that accepts crypto, and yeah. then you can tell them, hey, if you want to use your crypto, use our ATM machine, or accept the crypto and then just swap it over to us dollar that way in case it does dip the next day you already pulled your cash out i mean can i ask just because i'm very blonde (laughs) i love this so i'm trying so i am a dancer choreographer so i teach so i'm trying to understand so if i i take like venmo cash i take all these ways check cash whatever Mm -hmm. so what i say then then i take crypto and i have my own crypto wallet so you you have a wallet wallet. so just a little quick breakdown um you have Deb, introduce yourself for yeah, okay. guys. It's, it's Deb. Deb. <laughs> sexy Deb. No, yeah. Sexy. Sexy. Very sexy. Um, no, but honestly, when I got into this, into crypto NFTs, it was it was a, very intimidating for me. Um, when did you get into? I actually got in towards the end of last year, and like Manny said, I dove like right in just like him. I was one of the people that would talk shit about it. I was like, I would never buy an NFT. I can't even see it every day you know and it's like why would i buy something like that um but then just like the opportunities and the amount of things you're able to accomplish are insane and kind of just a quick breakdown um you you have your regular bank account Mm -hmm. and then you'll get some sort of you know coinbase um wallet and then you can transfer it to ethereum bitcoin and that takes maybe like a five to seven day process. And from there, it's kind of like stocks, you know, it can rise, fall. Mm-hmm. Um, and kind of like Manny said, they, sometimes it dips, you know, there's there's that little crypto crash like a month ago or a few weeks ago. Um, and that's probably the best time to buy, you know, yes. because it just goes back up. Um, and that's what a lot of people are not understanding. Like this space is moving so fast, like like three months in the physical world is like one week in the meta space or the nft space or just crypto space just things that are happening are so fast there's like some of the biggest companies in the world microsoft facebook um it's not even facebook anymore i feel like meta- 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 <laughs> like imagine telling your kids like yeah i had facebook They're like okay mom like fucking my loser. Space. Okay, fucking boomer. loser. <laughs> i'm like anyways that's not my mom <laughs> <laughs> um no but it's just like the faster we learn to grasp like what is really going on in the mm-hmm. world and not kind of be blinded to what's coming is like that's when the people are, that's when like the people are really going to make their money we're still so early on in the space we call ourselves early adapters and you know my whole concept of nft has changed like in an instant you know now i wake up i'm like what's co- what's what's about to dr- what's about to drop like what projects are dropping um we're both part of a really big um nft community with some really credible people don't want to drop any names <laughs> what no no are you not allowed to or uh, no just don't want to drop any names but they're they're like really people you know really cool people that music industry art industry um you know some of the top people and professional so, athletes yeah professional athletes and what's so cool about it it's like we have a community so in this space a lot of people are scared to jump on because they're scared to get scammed you know and and it it happens to the best of us. I'm not gonna lie. It's happened to Manny. It's happened to me, um, and it's very disappointing. And especially as a female in this male space, it's it's very dominant. And now I feel like, wow, you know, I I own a business. I'm I go to school. I'm a full time student. Um, I'm and you know, it's crazy that I'm more invested into my NFTs than I am mo- like in my everyday life. And it's because I know the future of it. And with 
that opportunity of us diving in, that's kind of how we became friends. Like, if you see us, we look completely like you're like, what are <laughs> those two people like hanging out together? You know, like we just probably, you know, not in a bad way, but you know, we, like we look a little different. You know, <laughs> so it's crazy because just the way we both things and think, and you know, one day he's like, Dad, you know, let's grab some breakfast. And we both just really aligned, you know, where we both were. He's a lot more um, advanced in the space. I mean, honestly, it's crazy how many NFTs and probably how much money he has in his wallet. You know, like, I'd be like, damn. Um, Can I just stop you for one yeah. second? Because I I'm, I have been seeing it. I am, yeah. I am always so uh, curious. Curious, but I also am a huge believer in young people and what yes. you guys do. And I am not one to say, "Oh, I'm not gonna do this." I'm yeah. the total opposite. I want to learn. I would you like say that's to why know. she's always so young. No, <laughs> and, and, and that's you know, education is major, major key. I mean, knowledge no one can take away from you. But you know, NFTs are so cool, and that's why a lot of music, you know, rappers, singers, artists, athletes are getting into the spaces because all this world is dominated by you know, the richest people in the world and they're able to control the media. They're mm -hmm. able to control how much money you make, mm -hmm. how, what you're able to do, your opportunities. And this is kind of giving people their power back. You know, when you have an NFT, like let's say, um, you know, maybe I'm, I'm an athlete, you know, and, and instead of, you know, just playing a sport and getting paid for it and taking it, you know, they take a huge cut, I can just create my own NFT tied to some utilities like attending to a game or you know giving some a reason for them you already have the audience and then you get to keep the royalties for that so let's say they they mint it mint means buy so let's say somebody buys you know your nft and then they sell it on a on a second hand market like open sea well whenever they sell it you still get the 10 percent royalty so you're always making residual income you know it's like you're able to take your power back and that's why artists you know that are now they're releasing their new albums on an nft because now you know they're not having to pay these what this is that though like yeah. can I, I i just don't i say me you're gonna yeah. teach me gonna yes. teach me where am i gonna go um, okay For, how do i start yeah like, so very um beginning. just to just to give this uh some insight right like to overlook what's happening in the world right now um you know Facebook spending $3 trillion to create their own metaverse. Microsoft bought a, a game company for $70 billion. Like these companies aren't spending this money just because they want to, no. just because they feel like right. it. And as humans, we never go back. We always move forward in, in advancing ourselves, mm -hmm. right? So to say, oh, shit, we fucked up. Let's take 10 steps back and start over humans don't do that you know we just keep moving forward right so the the nft technology um is just uh can be it anything can be anything can so be like, anything like like let's say you know she's she's a dancer mm -hmm. so what you can do is let's say you want to create a video create a video make it into an nft you know and then that way they you own the actual nft you're the owner it's like art and you then know? people buy the video people buy the video right. and then they can oh, that'd they can be so cool. but, yeah but and they can, can and they can sell it on a second say she does like one of her stretch videos yeah, yeah. and then she makes only a hundred of them yeah and she sells those hundred nfts well she, she'll she'll drop them into like her platform and then whoever What's buys, the platform let, let's say let's like her website you know whatever website she has she has a website okay, okay. she'll drop them and it's like a hundred you know hundred exclusive okay only. and you know a hundred people buy them and then what they do is they go to, to a secondhand market like OpenSea, and then those people can sell them and whoever buys it in the secondhand market, you will always get 10% royalty. That is yours. It's like you're an artist. Every Create time it anything. sells. Yeah. You Every know. time it so sells. So you sell one for, like, usually they start at, like, you know, $50, $60. I wish. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, I wish. The, there, there are some out there, but yeah, if no, you want no. some with good utility, it yeah. is 500 to 1500 yeah, Honestly. But just to give you the, the idea of the power of the, uh, the royalties, uh -huh. um, you know, Gary V. When he dropped his first collection, wow. yeah. he made 91 mil in three months. Yeah. The first two weeks was 51 mil primary sales. And then the, the, the rest 40 mil was all royalties from people buying his NFT and reselling it. So 
if you sold an NFT your dance video yeah. today for you a thousand bucks, I would pay. And then for some, I would pay to see you stretch. <laughs> something happens next month that just your 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 personal stocks per se, uh-huh. yeah. your value just went skyrocket. skyrocket. So now someone will sell sells that video that mm-hmm. you post that you sold. Yeah. For a million dollars, now you get ten percent of the million dollars. But, but then a million put their pri- people put their price NFTs, on like, right? You can you can do anything. You can do oh. videos. Yeah. You can do pictures. You know, the most common right now are like pictures and moving pictures. Right. Of you course. know, um, it's, it's like an art form. Yeah. No, I and, love that. It's just like when you make that whatever you make, that yeah. is your your yours crypto. Money. That no, no 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 your crypto money is like Bitcoin, your, Ethereum. The, the oh. crypto you is how what? you pay for. What are you stuff? doing tonight? Because we're actually <laughs> having an NFT woman empowerment event. Um, we're partnered with Des Bryant. So this is, you know, we're kind of educating women because I feel like women are so powerful. And just because people think like, oh, my God, she's pretty, you know, like she right. probably isn't smart. And like that's our biggest advantage, especially in this space, because think about it, it's like the people creating some of the biggest NFTs are like just nerds in their house, you right. know, and they For like sure. don't get female attraction and they see so a female and it's like shit. creating an NFT. So her video would be. An NFT. Considered an NFT. Yes. But if you put it on the website, then it's already there. She she yeah, she would put it on like whatever website she has, but then but for to people buy to buy it. for people mm. to buy it. So you know that Kevin Hart takes three days for my checking savings to get to my checkings. <laughs> it's the t- same concept, but actually true. Um <laughs> from your bank account, you have a crypto wallet. And then you you're gonna have three wallets. Um more advanced people, a couple more because you have like a ledger that you keep safe but um you have three wallets your actual bank account your crypto wallet and then your like a metamask wallet and so what, what you do that? so metamask <laughs> is how you buy nfts that's that's so from your bank account you transfer it to to ethereum bitcoin whatever um and it, it takes a couple days and then after you have your crypto you know every day it fluctuates it can go up and down up kind of like stocks some people just are crypt you know crypto traders and that's all they do. They don't do any NFTs. So with that crypto, you know, usually Ethereum, um, you can buy on whatever NFT you want um, because you can't really buy NFTs with Bitcoins. It's only a I certain yeah. crypto. I see. So just to break it down, you have a digital wallet like MetaMask or Coinbase wallet that holds your assets, your crypto, your NFTs, um, whatever, whatever digital asset you have. It, it's held in the wallet. That's exactly what it is. It's a wallet. Then you have a platform. But you can't touch it. You can touch you, it. I mean, not, no, not, not really. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the well, digital no, you world. Can't. And There's, that's the scary and that's part. What the, and that's what the metaverse is. So yeah. now a lot of like uh, Gucci, Nike, yeah. they're actually well, making NFTs. Yeah, I have, I have a Nike pod. So, so <laughs> now you're going to go into the metaverse and you go in there not physically but you're going into the metaverse and now you can wear like it's honestly kind of scary Gucci because like it's definitely the matrix it's and it's yeah. really fucking scary i actually read this article the other day it's about crazy. how this lady's suing because somebody touched her inappropriately in the metaverse but it's because you know you have like like they didn't I mean, they actually, have full body suits now yeah and it's like pretty fucking scary what this world's gonna come to like on like I'm, I just I'm really scared that people are gonna lose their touch of like learning oh, 100%. to be l- like losing that physical you 100%. know aspect. Yeah, but a, oh god. Oh, uh, I was gonna say at the end of the day, it's gonna be survival of the fittest and the mindset, right? Yeah. Um, but there's like gonna to be a lot of people life. that are gonna get sucked into this world, and at the end of the day, I just want to thrive in it because I know I will not get sucked into this virtual world. But yeah, if I could provide um something or service or whatever and make money at the same time then why not do it but so, you can sorry no. but you can buy things like you yeah. can, like physically like you can yeah. buy a so, car you can so buy, like that was so like question. so like an example you know um personal corner is a athlete um owned by does bryant uh, manages like multiple athletes that have their own nft mm-hmm. example we'll use maybe trevon Diggs. okay i buy his nft his NFT is tied into a utility. Okay. So it would give me access to What's maybe a like utility? a utility is kind of like, like perks, uh, like perks. So, mm-hmm. so if I buy his NFT, it has an access to like a, a football game. 
you know, so then you're also getting, you're also buying, you know, that it's like hot, a membership, like kind of like a mm -hmm. membership, but you're also buying like a rare piece because again, you know, they have limited amounts, very limited, limited quantities. quantities. So with that NFT, you're able to maybe go to parties that you weren't able to go before. And that's why, you know, board apes really blew up. You know, they're the monsters of NFT because, you know, if you hold an board ape, which is like Justin Bieber, like, I mean, You're part of a club, a club, like an exclusive club, you know, it's kind of like, like the rich kids club, you know, it's like, oh, okay. Like we all have, you know, and you know, the cheapest one is like two to $300,000. So it's yeah. like, you know, no one can just hold a board. Aid. So another, another, um, really good example, go back, going back to Des, he's a good friend of mine. Um, he came out with his NFT collection. Um, uh, utility or perk that comes with his NFT is he bought a suite at the Cowboys stadium that, if you own a, a specific tier of his NFT, you get to go to every home game oh, and watch okay. the games Sweet. with him in his suite. Oh, I see. Or you could come to his birthday party for the next three years oh, or yeah. New Year's party this or whatever. So, crazy. so how much was one of his? Um, like a tier, he like probably a tier doesn't know. Yeah, it's different depending the, the, on. There's so it depends like what are it's kind of like what like memberships. Ten thousand, hundred thousand. No, not a hundred thousand. The top one was I think like ten thousand, yeah. or it was an Ethereum. So at the time it was ten thousand, but depending on right. when you buy it. Is. So, but like, so you know, I had a friend buy Ethereum to buy her first NFT, and she bought five hundred dollars worth, right, and then crypto dip and she was like what happened to my five hundred dollars i was yeah, like, like 300 look um <laughs> like one ethereum is still going to be one ethereum so if you buy something for one ethereum it's still going to be one ethereum don't pay attention to the u.s dollars dollars oh, because, so because worrying about that yeah. yeah but when you buy it for 500 and then yeah. it's worth well, 250 200, yeah you're fucked you <laughs> lost 250 dollars so i um <laughs> i've i've I'm, I'm into crypto and let's fucking uh, go and NFT, cruise I've 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 done research. It's, it's really difficult for me to it, understand. Honestly, it. it's really difficult to understand unless you dive in. Like we can talk about it literally all day, every day, because it's what we do. But until you actually kind of get in the space, you'll understand a little bit more. Doing and if you guys own. ever need guidance, we're a phone call away. But yeah. that actual project has led us to partner up with Gallery DeFi. And design district so we're going to be the first nft art exhibit like traditional art nft art in one exhibit it's eighteen thousand square feet seventeen thousand so, okay yeah my bad. same set um same same, same. <laughs> um so it's gonna be i don't know if you guys did the psychedelic robot um not travis. Yeah, travis. Yeah, travis yeah not travis yeah. travis he's one of the partners yeah. trey That's my buddy boy. Trey. what's up travis coming on oh trey you guys. Yeah. no oh, fucking nice. way yo yeah. so, oh my god i'm gonna like you know when you're on the hall when you like bump yeah. <laughs> oh my god i see him yeah you'll that see him. is so funny yeah. oh my god but yes we had no idea it, it, yeah i we, called him <laughs> to go over the show and i go yeah there's a girl coming on you're friends with i saw you guys are friends and he goes Wait, Deb, <laughs> my business partner. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. <laughs> no. So here's some exclusiveness. Hopefully, Trey doesn't kill me for saying this. But he we. Won't. <laughs> he yeah. said he won't care. Okay. No, but we we right before coming on Gallery DeFi, we actually um, got a different proposal, and it just was taking a little while, and so we're like, okay, we'll do Gallery DeFi, but now we actually the lot across the street just got accepted so now the house of DeFi is coming so oh, that's going to be like a fashion house yes. it's going to cool. be a fashion house members only so this is so cool so i'm i'm a huge fashion enthusiast stylist i can tell uh, i can uh, see <laughs> um so i'm excited because what i want to do is i want to have an art boutique i mean a fashion boutique but um, whatever, let's say I do, I, I won't do every piece, but I'll do like, like, um, like a, a whole look. And with that look, I'm going to upload it as an NFT. And then I, what I want to do is I want to have virtual fashion shows, you know? And oh. so people, now you're able to reach a higher, like a wider reach because now, you know, people, let's say that can't attend your fashion show physically, they can literally just go on the metaverse, click over an item and then just buy it there. So you're and those people, you know, they a lot of people have crypto and they don't want to switch it back to, you know, U.S. dollars. So they'll just hold it. So but again, these people are still real money. 
Mm-hmm. So let's utilize the market, you know, in a different sense. And and I'm so excited to be kind of like one of the first people here in Dallas to kind of take over that. And I mean, tell them about another project working on, Manny, mm-hmm. out of like the five. <laughs> We're women empowerment, you know. Yeah. I love that. Educating women, you know, education is major in the space. The lack of education creates fear and fear just I pulls away people me. away. Me Absolutely. Too. So no, but you're hot. You literally have <laughs> one of the biggest competitive like advantage in this space. Like, you know, I like I tell you, people doing this, a lot of these people are like, you know, tech people or just creatives, you know, they're not or you know, they're used to being behind the screen. And now they're investing so much time to this that they're like, you know, having like a little little candy eye, they they would they would you know more likely want to buy it, you know. I and see. if you're like really educated, and they're like, "Fuck, you can literally dominate the space." So wow, I, have, I have a question. Okay, so say she makes an NFT, right? The one stretching. Yeah, yeah that's one good. stretching. Okay, and say she makes a hundred exclusive, right? Okay, but she has her video on her social media so you want to post stuff that's like exclusive yeah. obviously you know mm-hmm. and it's like only fans yeah but only fans but with clothes on so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. only nft yeah. oh, oh i like only that NFT. only nft that's you heard it first. i want my 10 percent cut <laughs> y'all can't steal that <laughs> not y'all the yeah. public the public, the public. <laughs> Manny's about to go buy the website. <laughs> as we walk, I swear to God. Uh, so no, mean. you know what's crazy? Hey, that's a really good idea. This, every time we like think of like any type of fucking name, he like goes and buys the domain. That's and I was smart. like, dude, know. dude, he literally, honestly, I mean, he probably like has like 200 domains. <laughs> smart. Let, yeah. me hold the, let me hold the domain. Uh, okay. That's crazy because I heard that. Um, See, what's the car? Uh, the. Lamborghini? No, um, Tesla. The Tesla oh. that the, he had to buy his dom- right, right? The domain, right? Yeah, the domain. Yeah, yeah from somebody, somebody else, ha- and they didn't want to sell it to him. Yeah, so he had yes. to pay a lot of money. So this is that guy. Yeah. No, it wasn't you. <laughs> this is there, literally there that are guy. people called domain squatters that Squatter. think ahead of the game and yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna buy two posh podcasts right now and wait for them to pay me a million dollars. Yeah, but I you guys it. know what yeah. the one of the hardest thing because I love art. Well, honestly, this is why I feel like. I jumped into NFT so much because I was like, oh my gosh, I like to see, you know, I have physical art and now I'm able to kind of have like virtual art as well, digital art. Um, but one of the hardest things is like, you know, a lot of people make their money in the NFT space by trading. I'm like the person that like wants to just hold it all. Like I don't want to sell my, hoarder. I'm a hoarder, hoarder, but then there's a better word. Hoarder. It's a collector. I'm a oh, collector. I'm an NFT collector. Hey. That's hoarder. cool. Um, <laughs> No, but it, I mean, honestly, it's staying educated, staying up to date, knowing what projects are hot, you know, and and just because people hype it up like big athletes, celebrities, like don't fall for that. Most of the time they're getting paid for that, you know, really follow a project that you're passionate about, that you actually like the art. So this takes me to my next venture. <laughs> um, we're actually releasing an NFT home decor. So we're creating, I mean, I have one at my house. It's a coffee table and it plays art. And so now we're creating frames that um, have a monitor that plays your NFTs. But when it's off, it's a mirror. So it That's looks like so it's a cool. mirror in the wall, but then at night it comes to life. Oh, I love <laughs> and then it yeah. flashes like whatever, whatever like, NFTs like you have. Stretch video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's yeah, exactly. So it, you know, it's we're we're creating like a whole home decor and. You know, hopefully. So now you can actually physically. Physically, see well, that was my problem. I was like, art. okay, how do I solve the problem? Not fucking seeing. Well, because it. I so I have some friends that do have NFTs and they have vaults. Yeah, and that's, and you that's put on I, you put on the goggles and then you go and you walk into the vault and you, like you can see it and all, not really touch it, but like you know you're like there and and you know some of these NFTs are like enormous but it feels real but it, it feels you know what's crazy it's like it feels real because it's like that sensation it seems real but you can't yeah, really feel, feel it like like, like what i mean but is like, like being there it like feels like you're yeah, there yeah well, it's a virtual reality yeah, yeah and the scary part is it's like that's when you know that article that was like oh yeah someone touched me inappropriate like she's actually suing and i'm like well no one physically touched you but i i'm i'm honestly curious to see how that lawsuit goes because 
again, you're like making the movements, you know? So like it's someone's intention to like touch you <sighs> wrong, you know? So that's like the crazy part. Well, I'm I like, know that you can have sex on there. Not, well, well, I, I didn't it even know what you that. Call sex. No, yeah, I guess so. Katie, one of my best so it's friends, like, was it's like virtual. It's like virtual, virtual sex? that they said it was uh, like. It depends what you call sex. Damn. That's well, like they the said that it home. felt so real. Who that is they? Well, yeah. I know Katie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Who did she it? put something on? on? Like, yeah, yeah, like so they had the goggles. Yeah, the goggles, on, right? but you can't. But yeah, but they give you. They there's also something you can have that feels like like if it's through the I've seen gloves. I've seen the gloves where maybe. That? You could feel everything. Yeah, they have like sensors it. that you could. Do they have like feel. a pocket pussy? I don't know. <laughs> it's like to connect it's to like the those, modem. Those, like, <laughs> the penetration <laughs> part is where it's like. I don't know. Well, I imagine like by yourself, just like <laughs> with the like, making the motion, oh and then it's like you're literally doing this, and and they're like somebody walks in, they're like, yeah, I'm just you know, <laughs> fucking in the meadow. Working yeah. my head thrust. Because they have like suits, you know, they have like gloves and like a a, a shirt, you know, and and they have all these. I'm a different, physical like, person. I rather too. I rather like physically do this than like virtually do this. But then again, like I said. I'm, some people just have money and yeah. behind a screen. You're so year 2000. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, so last year. So 2022. Yeah. Yeah. So you're so 2021. Yeah. <laughs> but that's so crazy. And then on Instagram, I saw this guy wearing the goggles and they were like, my roommate what? just went on a, a date, like a in the metaverse. And I'm like, yeah, but they're yeah. not really, really on the date. Well, right? it's kind of like dating online, I guess. Like, yeah, I mean, except you kind of get to see their avatar now. But you're, you're <laughs> meeting online. You're not really dating online. Line. Yeah, you know, this is you're actually going on a date. Yeah, like sitting. Imagine somewhere. like sitting there and eating virtual food, right. and you're just sitting there at your fucking house, like just looking through this little fucking goggle. See, that's I mean, gonna but, fuck up our generation. That's though. how it's gonna like, be, though. Like, that's how imagine, it's already like, happening. Yes. Though. It's all, it really is. So Wally. people, Wally. people are playing dun, dun. Grand Theft Auto and living these fake lives. Uh, like, I heard a story about this guy. He's like. He Drop goes names. into uh, Grand Theft Auto. He's like, oh, man, I got to go to work today. He's like a garbage man on Grand Theft Auto. What and, the fuck? Or he'll, they'll visit their friends in prison. Like, oh, man, <laughs> What? Man. How do you and, live in prison and this in the isn't even this isn't even metaverse stuff this yet. Is like wow. This is a video game, Grand Theft Auto, that people are living alternate <laughs> lives. But it's the same like World of Warcraft people. They jump in this metaverse. It's not a metaverse because it's not some blockchain, but it, it's a, a world, a virtual world that... People can live alternate lives, and it's been going on Cruz, for years. Are you years. gonna do this? It's been uh, going on I, for I, years. I, are you? So are you? Are you gonna I, have meta sex? I, <laughs> I would be down to have meta sex. Yeah. <laughs> on my meta bed. Honestly, <laughs> now you now you, make, man, now you can I make a now you can make a meta that. porn movie. Yeah. Right? Now, now it's like yo. I'm making it into an NFT. I, I, NFT. Oh. <laughs> there is NFT porn though. Oh. Really? I had a feeling. I, I, yeah. I have a friend. He's a collector. Of course he is. Collector. Collector. <laughs> Porter. <laughs> wow. It's so like, is yeah, that I have, cheating? I mean, I... It, it all depends on <laughs> yeah, your depends, definition depends. It depends what, on the type of your relationship you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, yeah. yeah. Are you in an open relationship? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, open what, what, virtually, but, what is but your not relationship in real life? status, though, for the viewers? Oh, single. And oh. ready to mingle. <laughs> oh. What about everybody else? <laughs> Married. Yeah, married. 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 Oh, that's why she loves the, the juicy gossip. Uh -huh. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Tell me everything. Tell me everything. <laughs> what about y'all? Married to the game. No. Oh, I was like, I'm single. <laughs> single. Yeah. Married to the NFT game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> single. I'm I'm yeah. seeing someone. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yep. Virtually or so, in real yeah. life? IRL. Spider, spiders. In real single, life. I know it. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, spider. It. Do we do we get to like, you know, maybe hear like a name or something? <laughs> spider single, I know that. Yeah, he's single. Back to the, the painting though, like you know, Good you save, can, man. you could buy a million dollar painting and keep in your Broke house and no one knows. But if you buy a million dollar NFT, it's on the blockchain where everyone can see. That's a flex for these people that are yeah. filthy rich in, in crypto. It's like, oh, damn, she just bought this million dollar NFT. The whole world sees it. But if you bought a painting, you bought the Mona Lisa, it's so sitting in your house. No one can virtually come there and see yeah. it because you're not going to let some But then a lot of these spot. artists are being like, n not nowadays, but just maybe a lot years ago you know they had to pay like 
a gallery fee, they'd have to kind of physically share the profits. And now oh. this gives like artists, any type creators. of whatever creators, whatever field you're in, it takes your power back that this is mm -hmm. mine. This is my business. And a lot of people, it's, it's a business, you know, at the end of the day, it's a business. For the most part, you have a team, you know, like we could not do what we do without our team. And Brittany, she's not here Shout today. Out Shout out Brittany. She literally, you know, we are, and, and that's why we work so well together is because Manny is good at like networking, you know, finding, finding the people, finding projects. I'm like the organizer. I'm literally like live my life on a schedule. I know guys, I was a little late, but Same. no, <laughs> but, um, I, I'm just like, I need structure. Like I need discipline structure and I need to know how we're going to do it to get there. And I need like a plan in front of me or else it's like not real, but Brittany brings it to life. And I think, you know, every uh, people in the space treat these NFTs or, you know, these meta land, you know, they building houses on there. They treat it as a business. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of projects out there that you see the art and it's like, it's, it's appealing, but they're just creators. They're not business people and they don't have a roadmap. They don't have any type of plan. And so that's when these projects that might be hyped for a little bit, they're not going to be hyped forever because if you don't have a business mentality in this space, you're never going to grow. I can, anybody can create dope art. But like, how are you going to scale it out? What's your plan? Like, where are you going after? Most so, people don't have long term. This long term is my goals. question. Like, yeah. I'm hearing, like, for instance, I am a big Gary V fan. I listen all yeah. the time, and part of like Masawa is amazing on uh, TikTok because that was part of Gary V. I remember listening to him, and he said, "That's you need to be on there." Oh yeah, if everyone yeah. makes fun of you, do well, it. And, it I did. and 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 it and it is like that, you know. And it's like because it's the younger generation on there, and that's our future. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the people. Those 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 you know younger generations are the one the ones that are gonna. We're on like the era from like beepers to cell phones. You yeah. know, a yeah. lot of people didn't want to like transfer over. They're like, what? Like no. yeah, when they you said know, the internet it, wasn't it, gonna it, stay around. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's the same thing with the meta. Why but, are all these big businesses jumping into it? Jump into TikTok. That's going to be one of your easiest money. Jump but, onto YouTube. Right. So she did that. And then I listened to Gary Vee. He said, all of a sudden, <laughs> he jumps on NFT and this whole thing. And I got so confused. I'm like, what is he doing? What you said is still in my head. What you just said earlier. In whatever three months he made. Not so anymore. many yeah. Yeah. millions of. But Gary Vee was already famous. Had a, a following. Yeah. Well, so how does someone... Like us, yeah. like make normal. a two posh NFT. Yeah. Every time your viewers come on here, give them your NFT, you know, and like have them like, every time they come back. Or I have an idea for you. Dun, dun. So I, I want ten. This... I'm, I'm claiming ten percent. I'm his manager. <laughs> we showed up together. You guys heard it. <laughs> this podcast is free, right? Yeah. Then you release a two posh podcast that now. This this NFT gives them exclusive content that only these people that own this NFT can have. I'll drop And then you have there. in real life events like a meet and greet with Leon the Bridges. Colors. We got Leon Bridges and he's coming. If you have our NFT, you guys can sit in the I audience. See the audience, yeah. Um, but if you don't, then you guys just watch. Yeah, you, you, like you got to watch it like on YouTube. Peasants, you, you got to gotta, gotta watch it like from the, the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't general get to sit admission. with the cool people. <laughs> yeah, Think it's of like it you know, like a concert, it. right? Okay. So you have general admission and VIP. you have VIP. You have I got platinum. backstage. Um, so you could treat an NFT as like a membership deal or you, like, people like want exclusivity. Yeah. Right. And so when you That's offer exclusivity, sells. you tie that into the NFT um, technology. And that's when... I think you guys so. should totally do that because you guys have some super exclusive content that some some people it's better not heard in some the spicy here. stuff the is spicy only the stuff. mention yeah. names yeah, yeah. Like, and like you guys yeah story. and then like you know oh. you, you like maybe you drop a podcast <laughs> without names and then it's like if you have this nft then you get to hear the names we're dropping and people are so yeah. we're, cu curious. we're curious we're curious, curious. Yeah. species curious. we want to know and it's like that's why people are nosy that's why people gossip because we just we just <laughs> why you watch murder <laughs> yeah that's yeah. exactly we're, we're curious species like you know and i i would a thousand percent pay to hear names yeah, <laughs> let, let me know the Jews. 